Welcome to Liturgy of the Hours with Deacon Kevin. This is a ministry of St. Joseph's Catholic Church in Jacksonville, Florida. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Come, let us worship Christ, the King of Martyrs. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the Rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him. The dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come then, let us bow down in worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Today listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness when at Mirabah and Massa they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, They are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, They shall not enter into my rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship Christ, the King of Martyrs. Sion, sing, break into song, for within you is the Lord with his saving power. Rise and shine forth, for your light has come, and upon you breaks the glory of the Lord, for the darkness covers the earth and the thick clouds the people. Zion, sing, break into song, for within you is the Lord with his saving power. But upon you the Lord shall dawn, and in you his splendor shall be revealed. Your light shall guide the Gentiles on their path, and kings shall walk in your brightness. Zion, sing, break into song, for within you is the Lord with his saving power. Wonder and thanksgiving shall fill your heart as the wealth of nations enriches you. You shall be called the city of the Lord, dear to the Holy One of Israel. Sion, sing, break into song, for within you is the Lord with his saving power. You, who were desolate and alone, a place unvisited by men, shall be the pride of ages untold and everlasting joy to the nations. Sion, sing, break into song, for within you is the Lord with his saving power. No more shall the sun be your light by day, nor the moon's beam enlighten you by night. The Lord shall be your everlasting light, and your God shall be your glory. Sion, sing, break into song, for within you is the Lord with his saving power. No more for you the setting of suns, no more the waning of moons. The Lord shall be your everlasting light, and the days of your mourning shall come to an end. Sion, sing, break into song, for within you is the Lord with his saving power. The man whose deeds are blameless and whose heart is pure will climb the mountain of the Lord. The Lord's is the earth and its fullness, the world and all its peoples. It is he who set it on the seas, on the waters he made it firm. Who shall climb the mountain of the Lord? Who shall stand in his holy place? The man with clean hands and pure heart, who desires not worthless things, who has not sworn so as to deceive his neighbor. He shall receive blessing from the Lord and reward from the God who saves us. Such are the men who seek him. Seek the face of the God of Jacob. O gates, lift high your heads, grow higher ancient doors. Let him enter the King of glory. Who is the King of glory? The Lord, the mighty, the valiant, the Lord, the valiant in war. O gates, lift high your heads, grow higher ancient doors. Let him enter the King of glory. Who is he, the King of glory? He is the Lord of armies. He is the King of glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. King of glory, Lord of power and might, 
Cleanse our hearts from all sin. Preserve the innocence of our hands and keep our minds from vanity so that we may deserve your blessing in your holy place. The man whose deeds are blameless and whose heart is pure will climb the mountain of the Lord. Praise the eternal King in all your deeds. Blessed be God who lives forever because his kingdom lasts for all ages. For he scourges and then has mercy. He casts down to the depths of the netherworld and he brings up from the great abyss. No one can escape his hand. Praise him, you Israelites, before the Gentiles. For though he has scattered you among them, he has shown you his greatness even there. Exalt him before every living being because he is the Lord, our God, our Father, and God forever. He scourged you for your iniquities, but will again have mercy on you all. He will gather you from all the Gentiles among whom you have been scattered. When you turn back to him with all your heart to do what is right before him, then he will turn back to you and no longer hide his face from you. So now consider, what he has done for you, and praise him with full voice. Bless the Lord of righteousness and exalt the King of ages. In the land of my exile I praise him and show his power and majesty to a sinful nation. Turn back, you sinners. Do the right before him. Perhaps he may look with favor upon you and show you mercy. Ask, as for me, I exalt my God, and my spirit rejoices in the King of heaven. Let all people speak of his majesty and sing his praises in Jerusalem. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Praise the eternal King in all your deeds. The loyal heart must praise the Lord. Ring out your joy to the Lord, O you just, for praise is fitting for loyal hearts. Give thanks to the Lord upon the harp, with a ten-string lute sing him songs. O oh, sing him a song that is new, play loudly with all your skill, for the word of the Lord is faithful, and all his works to be trusted. The Lord loves justice and right, and fills the earth with with his love by his word the heavens are made by the breath of his mouth all the stars he collects the waves of the ocean he stores up the depths of the sea let all the earth fear the lord all who live in the world revere him he spoke and it came to be he commanded it sprang into being he frustrates the designs of nations he defeats the plans of the peoples his own designs shall stand forever the plans of his heart from age to age. They are happy whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen as his own. From the heavens the Lord looks forth, he sees all the children of men. From the place where he dwells he gazes on all the dwellers of the earth, he who shapes the hearts of them all and considers all their deeds. A king is not saved by his army, nor a warrior preserved by his strength. A vain hope for safety is the horse, despite its power, it cannot save. The Lord looks on those who revere him, on those who hope in his love, to rescue their souls from death, to keep them alive in famine. Our soul is waiting for the Lord. The Lord is our help and our shield. In him do our hearts find joy. We trust in his holy name. May your love be upon us, O Lord as we place all our hope in you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Nourish your people, Lord, for we hunger for your word. Rescue us from the death of sin, and fill us with your mercy, that we may share your presence and the joy of all the saints. The loyal heart must praise the Lord.
A reading from 2 Corinthians chapter 1. Praised be God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies, and the God of all consolation. He comforts us in all our afflictions, and thus enables us to comfort those who are in trouble with the same consolation we have received from him. As we have shared much in the sufferings of Christ, so through Christ do we share abundantly in his consolation. The just are friends of God, they live with him forever. The just are friends of God, they live with him forever. God himself is their reward, they live with him forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The just are friends of God, they live with him forever. Blessed are those who suffer persecution for the sake of justice. The kingdom of heaven is theirs. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, and holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Blessed are those who suffer persecution for the sake of justice. The kingdom of heaven is theirs. Our Savior's faithfulness is mirrored in the fidelity of his witnesses, who shed their blood for the word of God. Let us praise him in remembrance of them. You redeemed us by your blood. Your martyrs freely embrace death in bearing witness for the faith. Give us the true freedom of spirit, O Lord. Your martyrs prof profess their faith by shedding their blood. Give us a faith, O Lord, that is constant and pure. Your martyrs followed in your footsteps by carrying the cross. Help us to endure cor courageously the misfortunes of life. Your martyrs wash their garments in the blood of the Lamb. Help us to avoid the weaknesses of the flesh and worldly allurements. Now let us pray as the Lord has taught us to pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. God our Father, source of strength for all your saints, you led Paul Mickey and his companions through the suffering of the cross to the joy of eternal life. May their prayers give us the courage to be loyal until death in professing our faith. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.